Hello! Usually I do not preach from the Psalms, the book of Psalms, nor offer reflection. Nothing wrong with those texts, it's just that they are poem, uh, most likely they were songs, and personally I do not always find it easy to either understand them or analyze them or find something uh, intelligent that come from my mind to say about these things. Uh, this said, there's something about uh, Psalm 137, and it's not necessarily because uh, Boney M uh, used it to, for a huge hit in 1978. No, no. It's, it is just this text that began with the words, By the river of Babylon, there we sat down and we wept when we remember Zion. On the well there, we hung up our harps. This text comes from the time when the Israelites have been defeated by the Babylonian and sent into exile. And what we can easily understand is they were homesick, they were, their spirit were broken, they were depressed, they were humiliated. And if it was not enough, their captor did not make it easier for them. The Babylonian were taunting them when, and that's how the song continue. For there our captor asked us for songs, and our tormentors asked for mere saying, Sing one of the songs of Zion. Yeah. Sing us one of the songs where you used to live. Where your God was supposed to protect you. And where we defeated you. Ouch. Um, and when I'm reading this, I, I think it resonates with our current situation. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing remotely close to the situation of the Israelite in Canada. Okay, that's, that's not what I'm saying. It makes me think of the immigrants, the political refugees uh, that came to Canada or other developed country. Those men, women, children were forced to leave behind their country, their loved ones, and let's be honest for many of them it was not their choice to leave it was not their choice to come here it's only normal that they're homesick that they tend to meet with people from the same country same religion same culture and we I'm including myself, I'm not an immigrant. We from the welcoming country, from the welcoming community, we do not always understand why these individuals are not more grateful for a generous welcome, for what they have here. We're surprised they don't want to immediately integrate and assimilate to the majority culture. We wonder why they don't want to I don't know, uh, show us their tradition, traditional dance, their song, their culture, that we will find this very interesting and entertaining. And maybe this reaction, this lack of understanding, I would say, come from a part that in our society we don't like lament. We don't like people who are depressed, who are sad. We don't like this emotion around us. So that's why we hear some, sometimes people saying, snap out of it, move on, you know, leave your country behind. That's all news. We tend to forget that grieving is an acceptable emotion. It's a normal stage It's that help us to process experience, sometimes difficult and traumatic experience. And without this stage of grieving, we will never heal. So 
to all of you watching who are feeling they are in exile. It could be physically, but it could be also emotionally. It could be spiritually. I would like to say it's okay to feel that way. You don't have to be ashamed. You don't have to justify yourself. And you can be longing for this place you would call home. And you don't have to smile and entertain us. And to all of us who are the welcoming community, the welcoming country, I guess this psalm remind us to show more compassion, more understanding to the reality of those in front of us. And sometimes the best response is silence. To stay with those who grieve, to be present, maybe to listen when they want to speak, and to say, it's going to be okay, when you will be ready to be okay. Once again, thank you for watching, thank you for being there. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette, and until next time, take care of yourself, and bye-bye.